In this video, I'm gonna share with you the best route in Madden 22 that you can utilize to consistently get over 30 yard cloud flats whenever your opponent is running the Mabel meta defense. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. Uh, it's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips that I release every single day. Every single day we upload videos that can help you become a better Madden player. So again, I would really encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button below. It's completely free to subscribe. Now guys, I wanted to do this quick video video on how you can deal with 30 yard cloud flats to me the number one way that people are playing defense in Madden 22 is they're utilizing these 30 yard cloud flats because they do a really decent job of defending corner routes they also do a decent job of defending crossing routes which is what we're going to be talking about in this video so what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we're in a, a regular game mode because you can't set zone drops in practice mode and we're just going to kind of set our zone drops deep and then I'm going to break down this route combination out of the trips tight end. Now, I think the trips tight end is one of the, the best offenses, if not just the flat out best offense in the game. And the reason I think that is because you have an answer for pretty much anything that the defense is going to do to you. So the play that we're going to be going over is the play curl flat, but I'm going to show this play today with a little bit of a twist, maybe something that you didn't know you could do uh, from this formation. So this is something that I talk about in my trips tight end offensive ebook, uh, but we're going to show this right here today. I think this is a very, very critical uh, point. And we also just released a free version of our trips tight end offensive guide. You can get that by texting the word Madden to the number on the top right hand corner of your screen. Every single week we release free offensive and defensive guides to our text message members and again it's completely free for you to sign up all you have to do is text the word Madden to the number on your screen so we're going to go over the play curl flat and the setup is really really simple so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to audible down into the Mike Blitz 3 and I'm going to set this up pretty much the way that anyone that is trying to defend trips tight end would as you can see here we're gonna have this deep half on the right that's gonna help us a little bit with the seam streaks we've got a cloud there a purple uh, and then we've got our user kind of in this area where we can kind of hover over the middle of the field Okay, now what we're going to do from an offensive perspective is we are going to actually go ahead and smart route the circle receiver. And then really important little point, most of the meta blitzes in Madden 22 can be picked up by blocking your tight end. So what I'm going to do in this setup is I'm actually going to block my tight end and I'm going to go ahead and simply slide protect to the right hand side. This is going to allow me to be able to roll out of the pocket uh, in the situation that that opportunity presents itself. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do, and this is a really important point, we're going to motion Scotty Miller. We're not going to motion him to the right. You might be saying, well, Cody, how can you motion him to the left? Well, watch what happens here. A little secret motion in trips tight end. I'm going to motion him to the left, and you're going to see that he is going to go right into the slot. The reason I like this is because now I have a seam streak to this guy, and I'm also still able to block my, uh, I'm still able to block my guy on the backside. Now, as far as what I like to do with Mike Evans, Honestly, it's really up to you. You can do whatever you want with him. If you want to put him on a little drag, that is a great read in my personal opinion. You could also put him on a little smoke screen because it's going to pull the zones out of the way for Giovanni Bernard. You know, you can kind of do whatever you want. I personally typically will be putting him on some type of zig or some type of quick out because my first read is going to be the seam streak that I'm going to look to the running back and then I'm going to look to the post. So at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is when I snap this ball, you've got your seam streak that's going to clear out all the zones. And then the circle receiver, as you can see, gets wide open all the way down the field for an absolute laser. And that's, again, against a 30-yard uh, cloud flat. Now, I'm going to show you that one more time. And again, we're going to put see here our flats are on 30. But now what we're going to do um, is I'm going to take a quick sack, and then we're going to uh, show it one more time. Now, if you're on the right hash mark, this, you can't. You can do the same motion, but it doesn't quite get him into the seams. So that's why when I run this play, I like to be on this side of the field. I don't want to be on the other side of the field. Okay. So uh, let me show you this one more time, and we're going to show it to you again. But I want to show you one other thing that people will occasionally do uh, to try to stop this. So we're going to go to the cover two, and what you're going to see out of this cover two here is we are going to actually base a line, and we're going to back off that uh, that that um that corner on the right you see there i manually backed him off i feel like this is probably the best chance they're going to have to be able to stop this obviously we can't smart route the post either so motion scotty miller to the left block your tight end just to give you a little bit extra protection if you don't want to block your tight end you don't have to you could just run it like this i like to block the tight end i feel like i feel much more comfortable and oftentimes it helps me roll out of the pocket which helps me buy even more time 
So I've got a quick little quick read over the middle, not there. Now I'm rolling out of the pocket. See how they chase me every single time? And as you can see, it's wide open over the top. So curl flat is truly one of my favorite plays uh, in the situation where people are trying to use the 30 yard clouds. For whatever reason, some of the latest patches in this game, they have made these 30 yard clouds, I think, significantly worse than they were earlier in the season. And the reason I'm saying that is because, as you see, they're easier, they're much more, um, they're, they're just more manipulated. See here, if I motion Scotty Mo to the right, you see that he goes all the way outside. You can run this like that. That's fine. I just prefer him to be in the slot because what it does is it helps pull the yellow zones out of the way for the running back on the angle route. And it also allows me to have a read over the middle of the field, something they may not have been expecting. And then here you'll see this time the cloud is going to stay back, stay back, stay back. But as you can see, no matter how far back you drop that cloud, it's never going to guard the curl flat route. So to me, that is one of the main reasons why I argue that trips tight end is the best offense in the game. And if you would like to learn my entire trips tight end offensive ebook, again, we've got a free copy of it or free version of it in the text membership. And then I've got an even deep, more in-depth version of it in my Patreon. By joining my Patreon for just $10 a month, you're going to get immediate access to 13 guides and several exclusive tips that I've already released. Trips tied in is one of those guides that we have in there. But you're also going to get instant access to any offensive or defensive ebook that I release while your subscription is active. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, it's just $10 a month. You can cancel whenever you'd like. In the description of this video, there is going to be a link where you can sign up. And uh, again, guys, I would really encourage you to do that because I think the value uh, far outweighs the cost because you're getting so many guides. You're getting so much material. And we actually just put uh, this morning one of my favorite videos I've done all season where I actually broke down a pro player and kind of dissected every single thing that he did, not just kind of conceptually, literally to the finest point of detail, we literally talked through every single detail of his scheme. And I think it's going to be very helpful to some of you guys to kind of learn from what people are doing and why they're doing it. So uh, that being said, if you want to join the Patreon, $10 a month, you can cancel whenever you want. A lot of people have been enjoying that. I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. And other than that, guys, we will see you guys uh, next time.